Hello everyone, and this right here is a new type of video. Uh, you can see me in reflection. Hello. Uh, today we have the Lenovo X240. This is a ThinkPad, and today we are going to be installing Windows 7 on this thing. So let's get to it. So recently I got this uh, ThinkPad from one of my friends, and. Uh, I have Windows 10 installed on it, but I was thinking it's still a tad bit slow and this feels like a Windows 7 machine and I haven't actually typed up what this uh, when this release so I'm going to quickly go type that up. Just typed up and the original OS was meant to be Windows 10 Professional 64 bit. So this this OS here is a little bit older than it should be, uh, but I think this is a perfect machine to run Windows 7 daily drivers since it actually has Windows 7 drivers since uh, pretty much this thing has the stuff for it so let's get it set up quickly going through the basic things as you can see right there get you a bit focused I'm gonna go through the basics We're in the United Kingdom go to next and install now and setup is started so oh and here is the service pack one by the way uh, yeah, I accept. And we're only going to do a custom because we want to grab the hard drive here. And go do the driver options. We're going to delete that one. Get rid of Windows 10 that's on there. And then we're going to get rid of the VM. And just ba basic things. Going to completely wipe this uh, drive completely, giving it all its space. This is a full life. 465 gigabyte drive so easy and there we go windows is currently installing as you can see right there so i'll be back once this is installed it's gonna take quite a while so i'm gonna go watch some youtube while we're snacking on some of these with the blue bonbons mate and a, and a cherry pepsi mate look at that so yeah already at five percent so just gonna let this go while I go watch some Michael MJD probably. I also want to see the setup. This is currently the setup. You've got the monitor here. It's now on a bit of a corner just so I can fit the laptop here. And this is the tripod space. I've got a mini tripod. That's where it can go. So then you guys just sit back there. Look at that. Perfect. I really hope you will be able to read that back in the recording because it's a little bit blurry on my camera. But uh... Yeah, I'll be back once it's installed. Okay, so to the looks of it, boom, it's doing the registry settings. So the first part is done, now we're just completely waiting to get into the outbox experience, which should be pretty soon after it starts doing the other bits and bobs that it needs to do. Which I can't remember if that's now or it's still copying over files. It's still doing the installation. So I'll be right back once this is ready. The setup is currently preparing my computer for first use. Yay! Checking video performance. I still need to download the drivers. So while I'm waiting for this, I'm actually gonna go port the drivers over to a USB stick, which is probably gonna be the cool little gold key. And uh Yeah, and now we're in the outer box experience. So let's get this set up. We got my name. There's no audio, I don't think. Cool. Uh, passwords gonna be super secret password a hint uh, hint uh, I don't know what to do for the hint uh, the hint is uh, a date yeah a product key yippee um, I'm probably just gonna activate it later so we're gonna skip that help us improve I don't know, uh, adjust clock, blah blah blah, you can do that yourself. Now it's doing the finalization, look at that, right there, Windows is finalizing, oh, oh, do we have sound? There's sound, we have sound, that's so rare, we barely get any sound, is that Wi-Fi settings? Okay, no, that's... That's LAN. 
as a thingy. So, yeah, we don't have any of those. We don't have network. We ha don't have graphics. We have sound, which is a first. I don't know how there's sound, but we have sound. So I'm quickly gonna go port all the drivers right now. Be right back, guys. So at the moment, we have a graphics driver and a, oh, it's a bit wonky. We have a graphics driver and we have a, sorry if you can hear my music in the back. Graphics driver and what else? Wireless, which I think this is the video driver. So let's hope it works first try. Okay, that's number one. Okay, so this is the video features. Oh. Is, is this graphics? Okay, yeah, it's definitely graphics, don't worry. Of whatever it wants to install. Ah, there we go. Yes, we know Aero. We want Aero. We love Aero. Right, here we go. It's all dependent now. Will we have Windows Aero? Okay, this might be a good sign. Oh, it restarted for me. Just let it restart and see what happens. There we go. It's dimmed the screen, so that means we have graphics. That welcomes, that welcome though. Taking some good, sweet old time. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, there it is, Windows Aero. Hold on, let's turn the brightness off a bit, shall we? Windows Aero. We got graphics drivers off the bat. Look at that, that's beautiful. All right, we just need the Wi-Fi drivers and then we're sorted. We will be finished. Well, not really, we need to install Chrome. Pretty much the only thing we have to do, really. There we go. Right, next. I agree. Next, next, next. And hopefully, we do one more restart and we have internet drivers. Start now. Error? No. Wireless software I have, I have reviewed. Install. Creating a restore point. Might get lucky. We might actually get lucky. I've never had a laptop that's ever been this lucky. And while I'm checking the bottom right here, you might see it change. I'm going to edit this in, uh, in full, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at. Oh, and also, by the way, I kind of changed now we flipped, now the monitor is on this side and the laptop's here, so there's more space for the tripod to go. And it's easier for you guys to see the, uh, the screen, hopefully. And I hope this whole time there hasn't been a little uh, tilt on the screen. I'd not, because that would be really annoying. Right, Wi-Fi link. Are you going to change? I don't know if the fans are ramping up on this or my PC that's right next to it. There we go. There we go. That's Wi Fi. There's Wi Fi. I can see it. It's yellow. So now we have Wi Fi. This laptop is Windows 7 supported now. Let's go. And now I have a Windows 7 laptop. It's about time. I've been waiting so long for this. Oh, okay, now it's gone. Now it's back. Oh, yeah. Wow, this one's taking a while. 
Oh, by the way, this is actually going to be a main PC for me, like a main little laptop for me, and I'm only going to use it for like uh, general stuff. So like typing, uh, documents, and all that. But now we get connected to the internet, then we install Chrome, and then pretty much sorted. And there we go. We are connected. Now we gotta use the shit box that's called Chrome. No, not Chrome. Uh, Microsoft. Right. Chrome. Oh, Internet Explorer 8. Never thought I'd be using this again. Alright, Chrome. Your browser is out of date. I know. I need to install like mousepad drivers and all that. I think there's a Windows update. Which, realistically, I shouldn't trust, but for now, I'm just gonna trust it. Run. Run. Ah, it's not a Win32 application. What do you mean? Fuzzle tabs. Okay, well, we're experiencing our first error. Chrome does not want to install, so I'm going to go grab it from the other PC. Okay, so I couldn't find a Chrome, so we're just going to use Supermium. Uh, I, know, I know Supermium's open source, but I guess it, it, it will work. Uh, yes. Do you want to install Supermium? Yes. Extracting. Once we have Supermium installed, we can just use uh, create shortcuts for Supermium. Uh, okay. Supermium successfully installed. Oh, it's not even popping up. Hold up. I might have to redo that. Spermium. Yes. Yes. Extracting. Create shortcuts this time. And classic V6. Yeah. Okay. Spermium installed. And now, we have Supermium. I'm not going to sign in just yet. I'm just going to set this as default, yeah? Oh my god, it has the classic bar. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I've already, I already do like that. Okay, we, we have a working Windows 7 ThinkPad X240. Running Windows 7. Hold up, before we do anything. I want to quickly just go and do control panel and I just want to go to change the theme and I kind of just want to add a uh, I just want to go and do background and I want to change it to uh, where is it landscapes there we go boom windows 7 Want full proof even though you've just watched the entire video? Hopefully you've watched the entire video. Go on to Winver. Boom! Windows 7 Professional Running. Service Pack 1. Oh yeah. Look at that beauty. Alright. So that was my first uh, tech video on the YouTube channel. Uh, better ones are to come. Uh, I'll give you proof. We have this thing right here to do. This is the Windows XP tablet PC. Uh, I need to order some parts for it, but it needs, oh no, we'll get it over here. It does need a bit of doing. It needs fixing, it needs a power cable. Uh, it needs a stylus, uh, because there's no stylus for some reason. Uh, and whatever that is, but I'll do some more research in this, probably get it fixed, and uh, yeah, why are you not focusing? It's not focusing. There you go, it's focusing. But yeah, uh, we're going to be fixing this one day, and hopefully get it to work with Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. So yeah, thank you for watching, 
and I'll see you guys all in the next video.